Pratibha Rai, a magical name in Indian literature, is most famous for her novel, Jagyoseni. Her book has gone through 78 editions within a decade, which is extraordinary for an Indian author. This novel has reached a vast readership in India and abroad. The new generation of readers may ask who she is. Is she an ordinary mortal or the creative feminine spirit sustaining life by absorbing the slings and arrows of the patriarchal world. She is like her own Jagyoseni, the Mahabharata heroine who dares to bring order to humanity with her innate creative powers. Pratibha Rai's Draupadi is modern, without the trappings of feminist defiance, sophisticated without anti-essentialism and an order figure with grace. Draupadi in her celebrated novel is born out of fire to give luminous majesty to human reality. Going back to memory lane, I clearly see my school days, my parents, my village, Moreover, I see the village folk opera, folk drama, where I was first introduced with the enigmatic heroine of Mahabharata, Jagyasani Draupadi. According to mythology, Jagyasani Draupadi was born out of fire. It may not be believable for this uh, uh, modern age children, but it is very, very symbolical. Life of a woman, moreover, Draupadi was just walking in fire. So, I was uh, surprised to see, sir, not only surprised, I was shocked and I was very angry when I saw in that drama folk drama that uh, Dushasan is misbehaving with Draupadi and uh, in front of all the elders she was sexually harassed. I was very angry, my father was also a viewer, he was very drama lover. I came to my father angrily and I asked, what is this? This should not be happen to any woman. Then my father told that, you go through Mahabharata, you think over it, when you will grow up, you may think more, you will become mature and you may do anything. I think that was a hint by my father to write this novel after 30 years.
born to a rational moralist father and a cultural ritualist mother of an Odisha village Olabolo in 1943 Pratibha is the darling of the lovers of literature in Odisha and in India her narratives long and short have enthralled a generation of readers her fiction exudes a divine charm as she has enlivened Odia language and literature with a lyrical narration of excellence her humanism and moderate feminism have enshrined her in the hearts of admirers she is a sober suave dignified woman a writer with a golden pen a celebrity with focused identity she has touched all aspects of rural and urban life her walk ranges from the rivers and mountains to tented fields of the mahabharat she has enriched the odia language with variety and plenty no genre of literature has she left untouched and whatever she has touched she has turned them into specimens of eternity she is also the first woman writer to have received the prestigious murti devi award for the most popular work jagyasani in 1991 Death is more generous than life. Death is more composed. Those who were enemies yesterday, today their death drenches the heart with tender compassion. Those who were wicked, lustful, sinful till yesterday were made composed, steady and unperturbed. Jagya Seni in Hindi it is known as Draupadi. You know the the kind of analysis which she has done of draupadi indicates that she has she was dealing that time with the women problem of india she is she is a feminist no doubt about it but her feminism cannot be equated with western feminism in west the 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 greatest enemy of a feminist is a man is man but here there is no enemy you know here you know they are trying to uplift the society make us aware of the problems which we face in society both men and women and then by giving women the by empowering women they want to change the society and when they are planning to change the society they are in fact trying to change the human beings also this is what pratibha rai is love is both earthly and celestial love is like a drop of dew pearl on a lotus leaf but if you want to hold it in the hollow of your palm it flows out as water in pratibha's novel Mahamoha she has depicted her idea of love with this conviction Pratibha Rai's Ahalya in Mahamoha is emancipated has been demythologized and shows a modern attitude towards life she is a graceful being without arrogance and she always felt she deserved the best as she was beautiful learned and accomplished with all feminine graces My illusory body is the redeeming land of truth. I was a daughter, a wife, a mistress of the house, but I was never a woman. I am a woman now at the touch of Indra, the god of heaven. I am full. Who can take away fullness from fullness? Even if someone can, I shall be complete without fullness. I have not uh, repeated the Ramayana Ahalya. My Ahalya is a free woman, bold, and uh, she is like Draupadi. My novel is a symbol of humanist feminism. She is free of her will, and she questions the society. Why did she commit such sin? Is it sin? Is it wrong? 
what is the reason behind any action like this which goes against the norm of the society there must be some psycho sociological reasonings and this is very complex ahla character i have uh, narrated ahla in a very complex situation and uh, she is again like all my characters is a humanist pratibha rai was always awed by the sun temple at konark more than the superb architecture and the poetry on the stones as well as the structural conception of the temple she was intrigued by the myths of love of narasimha dev and padmavati she delved deep into the history and the myth of the period and wrote shila padma a lotus in stone which attracted the attention of discerning readers and lovers of narratives for which dr pratibha rai was awarded the odisha sahitya academy award in 1986 Konark is a romance with history because there are two stories parallel parallel there is a modern story a foreign researcher and a researcher uh, uh, girl from odisha and also the past history of konark they go parallel and ultimately end in one point and there i wanted my purpose was to compare the east and west Her first significant novel was Uttar Marga in which she brings to focus the less known freedom fighter of Jagatsingpur area to which she belongs by virtue of her birth. Pratibha makes these heroic figures national players in the freedom movement of the country. At the same time she subtly introduces the relationship between the landlords and have nots. The sun of freedom rose in the Indian sky at the midnight hour of August 15th of 1947 in the villages of India the auspicious lamps were lighted fireworks provided the music of drums the conch shell blew the country over flew with the joy of liberty I wrote a novel on freedom fighters of villages of my area and they are the heroes of my novel The name of the novel is Uttar Marg the ro- road after but it has also a philosophical meaning the meaning is uh, redemption for ever there should be no uh, uh bondage and there should be there should be freedom for ever for this country for human being for man, man. She is one of the major fiction writers in India. Rai excels in the leisurely unfolding of the drama and human emotion in her short stories. She has written 21 novels, 24 volumes of short stories, 13 travelogues along with two poetry books, one autobiography, some books for children and new literary to her credit. Pratibha was born in 1943 to Parshuram Das. and mother manorama devi in a picturesque village ola bolo near balikuda katak in odisha she grew up under the care of nature in the large premises of her headmaster father's residence pratibha was interested in music dance arts and especially in all forms of beauty grace and harmony she made the ordinary mystical and the mystical spiritual discomfited was she whenever religion interfered with human relationship my language is love which needs no dictionary i sing the song of peace and integration like any other writer my god is conscience therefore i say give me your heart i will give you god my religion is humanism I believe in one god therefore my motto is love and let live After her schooling in Balikuda High School she joined the famous Ravenshaw College in the science stream 
Her father wanted her to become a doctor, but her fate and inborn talent had slated a different future for her. Ravensa College recognized me as a poet. I got my first uh, award in poetry in Ravensa College when I was in first year science. After her B.Sc., Pratibha was suddenly given in marriage in a rich and traditional family. Her loving husband, Akshay Kumar Rai, was an engineer. In the meanwhile, just before her marriage, she had taken up the job of a school teacher in an Adivasi school near Dhenkanal in Odisha. Living alone in a one-roomed house, she worked hard to give the light of education to boys and girls of the abused classes of the society. For a person with Pratibha's ambitions and talent, the role of a housewife was not acceptable. She had to give up her job prepared for her master's degree in education and joined government service as a lecturer in education and did PhD in educational psychology. During this period, her first novel was published, Borsa Boisakha Basanta. A genius finds out her own salvation. She took up a special study of the lives of the aborigines of the Bondi Hills, which she visited thrice, braving the hostilities of the terrain and the indifference of the very people. Apart from the postdoctoral work, the literary world was given a masterpiece, Adi Bhumi. Pratibha Ji ka jo ki ka jo katha falak hai, wo bahut bistrit hai. Ek taraf Yagya Seni, Mahabharat ka charitra hai. Dousari or Mahamo Ramayana ka hai, Ahilya ke baare mein hai. Or tisari or jo Adi Bhumi hai, वो उड़ीसा के आदि निवासियों के बारे में बोंडा जनजाति के बारे में है तो प्रतिभा जी में हमको लगता है कि जो परकाया प्रवेश की क्षमता होती है वो काफ़ी है आ, मैं समझता हूँ कि जो आज का उत्तर आधुनिक कथा शिल्प है वो चौंकाता है और उत्तर आधुनिक कथा शिल्प उतना ज़्यादा उसमें एक विक्षेप की भावना भी आ जाती है लेकिन प्रतिभा राय में ऐसा नहीं है प्रतिभा जी की दृष्टि उन आदिवासियों पर गई और मुझे लगता है कि उनके बीच रह करके जितना समझने की कोशिश की है उड़ीसा में के लिखे हुए साहित्य में मुझे वैसा देखने को नहीं मिला वो अद्भुत अद्वितीय है तो उनसे बहुत उम्मीदें हैं मैं समझता हूँ कि आगे भी इससे भी आगे बढ़ कर के वे उड़िया साहित्य को उसके साथ भारतीय साहित्य को और विश्व साहित्य को भी उनकी अद्भुत अनमोल देन होगी मैं आज उनके सामने जब उम्र में बड़ा हूँ लेकिन उनकी प्रतिभा के सामने मैं नतमस्क हूँ अनुरोध करता हूँ कि आप अपनी कलम बंद न करें बल्कि अपने लिए नहीं हम सब के लिए लिखती रहें She took voluntary retirement from the state government service in 1990 and joined as a member of Odisha Public Service Commission for a few years. She has proved her efficiency, integrity, honesty and sincerity both in teaching and administration. Pratibha's masterpiece Magnamati is based on Odisha's killer cyclone of 1999. When man transgresses the limit of his tyranny on earth the patience and tolerance of the earth also crosses its limits here the novel is not the novel of disaster or tragedy i will say it is a novel of uh, victory of life over death and uh, over ill fate of human beings another thing nature cautions the man to behave properly with nature man is crossing the limit therefore nature is going to no, not going to tolerate that is a lesson for us it is not only created by nature it is also man made devastation gradually the story came inside me and i wrote pratibha has distinguished herself both in fiction that is novels short stories and her writing her own autobiography she has 
uh, distinguished herself in all the different genres of literature. She has been accepted by readers as much as by well-known critics. Pratibha has created a new taste for literature in the reading public. She has been awarded with Central Sahitya Academy Award in the year 2000 for Ullangan, which is a collection of short stories. Padma Shri in 2007 for her outstanding literary works and education. She has received numerous awards including the coveted Sarla Award, Bishwa Award for a Lifetime Achievement by Prajatantras Prachar Samiti in 1995, the Odisha Society of America USA conferred on her the Outstanding Odia Literary Award in 1995. She arrived with Jagyosini, excelled with Adibhumi, transcended with Magnamati. The Gyanpeet Award is the crowning glory to her career. उसी की प्रतिकृति ज्ञानपीठ पुरस्कार के रूप में प्रदान की जाती है वागदेवी के हाथों में पुस्तक कमंडल अक्षमाला और कमल क्रमशः ज्ञान संयम वैराग्य और अंतर्दृष्टि के प्रतीक हैं और अब ये प्रशस्ति पत्र डॉक्टर प्रतिभा राय की साहित्यिक उपलब्धियों को रेखांकित करता ये प्रशस्ति पत्र माननीय राष्ट्रपति जी भेंट कर रहे हैं डॉक्टर प्रतिभा राय को Pratibha Rai meets with people, mixes with them. She is a good friend, a very good wife and a proud mother of three children. On top, she is admired and adored by the people of Odisha, India and beyond the borders of India. To whichever country she goes, she goes well prepared with the history and culture of the host country. She mingles freely with people to be friends, be it men and women, and experiences the feel of the country. All her stories and novels reflect Mrs. Rai's ability in recreating the world around her in a way that adds depth to the reader's understanding of the human life. Mrs. Pratibha Rai does all this like a true artist who is part of her art, yet who stands apart from it. The crest of the horizon is far below, but she has the zenith to conquer. But she feels God has lavished all her bounties on her. She is fulfilled as a woman, as a creative writer, and also as a woman rooted to the soil. Jibana pa Bhari cha ke te moti Na de la ki chi boli Kahi bhi ki he au Jibana priya ta ma Hari cha mo bharama Jeevana priyatama Hari cha mo bharama Tarani mora Taba sagare bahi jau Tarani mora तब सागरे बही जाओ जीवन पात्र मो भरी छके ते मोते नदी लगी छी जीवन पात्र मो 
भरी छाके नदी लगी बोली कहीं भी 